you to all our dear televiewers and subscribers of Tepet R Teletroan. I am Joanna Marie G. Balvin, Junior High School Science Teacher from the Ansarile Integrated School, your teacher presenter for today's episode. In our last episode, we were able to discuss the applications of electromagnetic waves. This episode, we will explain the effects of EM radiation on living things and the environment. We use electromagnetic waves a lot. We see because of light waves, information is sent from place to place by means of radio waves. We forecast weather using microwaves. Waves even invade our kitchen when food is cooked in a microwave oven. X-rays and gamma rays are now used in medical diagnosis and treatment. Ultraviolet rays are used as a medical sterilizing agent. Electromagnetic waves can have an adverse effect on a person and the environment. What are some harmful effects of radiation on humans and the environment? The technologies that we use today emit electromagnetic radiation. These radiations can penetrate and affect us, seriously compromising our health and disturbing our environment. This is the adverse effect of technology the price of modernization and convenience. Just like their uses, the hazards brought about by EM waves depend on their frequency. The energy of an electromagnetic radiation is dependent on its frequency. The higher the frequency, the greater the energy of the radiation. Specifically, the energy of a wave is related to its frequency by the following equation. We have E, or energy, is equal to H, Planck's constant, multiplied by F, frequency, where H is the Planck's constant and is equal to 6.63 times 10 raised to negative 34 joules times second. Let's solve the sample problem. The wavelength of the red part of visible light is 760 nanometers. What is its energy? So we have our given, we have wavelength is equal to 760 times 10 raised to 9 meters. And we must use the basic equation. Let's have F is equal to C over wavelength. Frequency is equal to speed of light over wavelength. Let's first use the basic wave equation. And that is frequency is equal to speed of light over wavelength. Then, let's substitute the given values. So, let us have F is equal to 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second over 760 times 10 raised to negative 9 meter. And let us have our answer 3.95 times 10 raised to 14 hertz. And that's our frequency. Let's find its energy. So, we have our given Frequency is equal to 3.95 times 10 raised to 14 hertz and Planck's constant is equal to 6.63 times 10 raised to 34 joules seconds. Let's have the formula for energy. We have energy is equal to Planck's constant multiplied by frequency. We just simply need to substitute the given values. We have E is equal to 6.63 times 10 negative raised to negative 34 joules times second multiplied by 3.95 times 10 raised to 14 hertz. And then, we will get our answer. Energy is equal to 2.6 times 10 raised to negative 19 joules. Now, try to answer the next problem. We have the x-ray used by your dentist has a wavelength of 15 times 10 raised to 9 meters. What are its frequency and energy? So, we have the given wavelength which is 15 times 10 raised to negative 9 meter. Again, let's first use the basic equation. We have F is equal to C over wavelength. Let's substitute the given values. Frequency is equal to 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second over 15 times 10 raised to negative 9 meter. Then, just simply divide both then you will get the answer 2 times 10 raised to 16 hertz. Now, let's solve for energy. Energy is equal to Planck's constant multiplied by frequency. 
let's have e is equal to 6.63 times 10 raised to negative 34 joule second multiplied by 2 times 10 raised to 16 hertz. Then we will get the answer energy is equal to 1.33 times 10 raised to negative 17 joules. There you have it. Please stay tuned for more discussion on the effects of electromagnetic radiation. We'll be right back. We're done with problem sets involving the energy of a wave. Let us proceed to electromagnetic radiation and light. How can we protect ourselves and the environment from the harmful effects of electromagnetic waves? Based on its energy, electromagnetic radiation may be ionizing or non-ionizing. An ionizing radiation has sufficient energy to induce ionization. Ionization is a process of removing electrons from neutral atoms. Exposure to high-level ionizing radiation may cause either an immediate effect or delayed effect. It can produce molecular changes that can lead to damage in biological tissues, including effects on DNA. Delayed effects can be cancer or mutation which may be on the person exposed to radiation or to his or her offspring. This is evident from the higher incidence of cancer and deformity experienced by the survivor of atomic bombings and nuclear fallouts. Ionizing radiations include X-rays as well as gamma radiation. Non-ionizing radiation Non-ionizing radiation includes the other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. Although considered as less dangerous than the ionizing type, non-ionizing radiation still poses some health issues. Both radio waves and microwaves can interfere with a pacemaker, a medical device that uses electrical impulses to help regulate the beating of the heart. Microwaves are known to cause cataracts, so we should not form the habit of pressing against our face a microwave oven to see if the food is cooked already. Excessive exposure to visible light, first of intense light, such as those from flash bulbs in a camera, can lead to flash blindness that can last for seconds up to a few minutes. Too much exposure to ultraviolet rays burns our skin and produces the so-called suntan. UV rays can also cause skin cancer. Ultraviolet rays can damage the retina, so be sure that your sunglasses are UV protected. These are some of the negative effects of electromagnetic radiation on humans. The probability of experiencing these effects depends on how much radiation we are exposed to and for how long. Let's proceed to electromagnetic radiation and the environment. The greenhouse effect resulting from the increased concentration of greenhouse gases as a result of human activity is called the enhanced effect. It is also known as anthropogenic greenhouse effect. The more greenhouse gases there are in the atmosphere, the greater the amount of trapped infrared waves and the greater the rise in temperature. It is the enhanced greenhouse effect that leads to global warming. With the thinning of the ozone layer, high level of UV rays can penetrate the Earth. It can also disrupt the organisms that depend on them. Interference from electronics and AM radio signals can disrupt the internal magnetic compasses of migratory birds. Ionizing radiation that comes from a nuclear material may result in the weakening of plant seeds and mutation. Always remember to exercise caution when dealing with electromagnetic waves. Thank you for your active participation. I hope you learned a lot. This has been Joanna Marie Gibaldine from the Ansarilla Integrated School. See you again next time. Goodbye!